Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell. And today we're going to talk about the greatest 80s buddy cop film ever made. And it was made in 1973. How in the world did you guys stay alive till now? Watching Freebie and the Bean today is kind of a surreal experience. You'll think you've discovered the great 80s buddy cop flick, but it was actually made a decade earlier. Richard Rush, the director, only made a handful of films, but a couple of them went on to become classics. Uh, Freebie and uh, then The Stuntman, which is one of the best movies ever made about making movies. Uh, it's up there with uh, Ed Wood and Eight and a Half in my book. Ingmar Bergman, Francois Truffaut, and Stanley Kubrick were all fans of Rush's work, which says something since this movie wasn't fully appreciated at the time. It was a hit, and you can see why. It's, it's ridiculously entertaining, but it did get kind of panned uh, by the critics. And you can kind of even understand why it was panned. Uh, it, it's just a great film, but everything about it is wrong. You got Alan Arkin and Valerie Harper uh, as his wife. They're playing Mexicans. James Kahn is just a sexist, racist pig. The two of them are absolutely brutal cops with little to no regard for civil rights or property or innocent bystanders. Uh, Kahn's pretty corrupt, living off the cuff uh, and happy to justify it. And yet, somehow, in spite of how horrible they are and how terribly they treat everyone around them, the, the film's completely lovable. I'm not sure if it's the script or the direction or if it's just the incredible chemistry between these two. They're one of the screen's great couples. It's hardly news that Alan Arkin is a great and gifted comic actor, but James Caan's hilarious. And, you know, you don't associate him with, with improv or great ad-libbing, but he definitely holds his own. And it's just, it's very clear. There's no way that all this stuff is scripted. Their, their banter back and forth just feels fresh and, and alive. And uh, you just can't take your eyes off of them. It's a bizarre combination of tones and moods. It's a comedy. It's an action film. It's heavy. It's light. People get killed in the shootouts. There's blood everywhere. And the violence has consequences, even if uh, our two leads are completely oblivious to it. But goddamn, it's just pitch perfect somehow every scene works you'll sort of feel dirty after watching it because you'll have enjoyed it so much even though you shouldn't there's an amazing scene at the end that kind of goes to the heart of how bizarre and how wonderful the film is where a tiny 98 pound transvestite kicks the living crap out of james Kahn, who's one of the screen's all-time tough guys and you actually believe it. it it actually plays and makes sense it's got crazy hair-raising car chases. You know, they must have destroyed half of San Francisco shooting this thing. Cars fly off the street, they fly into apartments, they fly on top of other cars. Just madness and chaos. And it's the kind of film that, you know, was getting made on a regular basis 10 years later. But at the time, it was just a sort of strange, out-of-place little thing. But it's a wonderful movie. Please get out of my office. Sir? Who wants to stick out